right, guys. Happy New Year. This is uh, our second truck off the line for the year. Uh, we're going to take it out now, give it a little test drive. This is going to be our first drive of this one. Probably finished it maybe 25 minutes ago and uh, get our first idea on it and see how it runs. So this is a LS3 powered D110. Uh, we've done a full restoration on, full paint job, full uh, frame off restoration. Uh, new drivetrain. This one came in as a really good donor and so we were able to take on what was good that was there and restore it into one of an ECD custom truck. Uh, this one's a one of one. We went back with a lot of stuff that uh, the customer wanted for it. We redid his steering wheel fully wrapped in uh, his custom leather. This is a nice tan leather. We went with a Puma Dash setup in this one, so it's got the ergonomics and the more uh, modern AC system in it. And he also wanted a in-console heater. This is a gonna be a Colorado truck, so it's gonna be a ski truck. Um, we fully rebuilt the axles on this one, fully redid the frame, made sure everything was good to go. This one being a, uh, a very pleasant green. Uh, which was similar to the color that the vehicle already was when he sent it to us. Um, I'm taking it out now and I'm just listening for this little bit of anything that I can find on it just for a short drive. I feel the brakes, the power of the engine, how it shifts. Uh, this being the LS3 platform. Uh, it's one of our more used items that we've that we've done in so we have a lot of knowledge on it so we know about the tune and what it needs to be able to run properly and be you know, the powerhouse that it is. So far in the drive, I'm hearing a small little sound coming from behind the dash. Something that we can easily take care of. Um, I don't think anything's loose back there, but maybe it's just something's a little close. We need to make a little clearance. Uh, this one's equipped with four bike racks from Front Runner so that the, uh, the family can place all their bicycles on top and carry them wherever they're going and it's also going to be used for taking ski trips being uh, full-time four-wheel drive with a high and low range option that shouldn't have any problems up in the snow getting up to the mountains I've been personally up around that area so I know it can get extra snowy up there the brakes are a little bit on the spongy side but I believe that's all due to the fact that they're brand new and being brand new brakes, they do have a bed in period. So it's gonna take a little bit uh, of driving to get them to feel the way they're supposed to. Had a little bit of a sound coming from the steering wheel just where it's maybe making slight contact with the, the steering column, but that's, that's normal, especially on a rewrapped steering wheel. This one's got a very nice leather on it, so we just have to make a little extra room for it. And it was a, that should be all right. You never hear a sound from it again. This one, he went. We went back with uh, traditional seating in this one. It has the Puma modular seats in the front. There are 60/40 combination in the back, and then also a set of forward-facing Puma jump seats in the rear. So there'll be plenty of room. Very comfortable seating. My favorite style of seating, as it is in all these trucks. I'm gonna drive it around since seeing as it's one of our more common uh, LS3s should have plenty of power for it and I'm gonna test it out and see how it drives make sure everything's functioning right and see how it goes from there